This Hefeming web tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what you can do with Photoshop patterns. So here I'm on this site, myphotoshopbrushes.com, and this is a great resource here to download a bunch of different things for Photoshop, brushes, patterns, custom shapes, styles, etc. So here is the pattern area, and you can find basically tons of sites that offer free patterns for Photoshop, so it shouldn't be very hard. But for now, I'll just use this site. And I'm going to find a pattern which I would like to download. And so I'll choose this one here. And just click the download button. So once it's done downloading, just double click on it and it'll open up in Photoshop. Okay, so you didn't actually see anything happen, but if we go into the preset manager right here in the edit menu, you can tell, let's go to patterns, go down to the bottom and you can tell that it's added the patterns there. The preset manager is basically a way to manage all the presets and such, all the brushes, swatches, gradients, styles, patterns, all those things and move them around, delete them, and basically when you import new ones, they appear here and you have tons of options for how to customize them. Okay, so I'm just gonna click done since they have been imported. And now to actually use the pattern that you've imported, you're going to go to layer, new fill layer, pattern, and then just click okay, and choose the pattern which you would like. So I have that one or this one. And there's a few different options you get here. You can move the pattern around. As you may or may not know, patterns repeat here in Photoshop. So when you move it around, it'll seem seamlessly connected on all sides. So there's no like lines or none of these star things or flowers are going to be cut off or anything. And you can also zoom in or out. But I wouldn't really recommend zooming in because you're going to get pixelated. So if you want to zoom out though, it works well to do so. Put it at like 62 or such. Or I'll just put it back to 100 right now. And link with layer won't apply for this right now, but I'll show you in a minute what that means. So just click OK and there you, there you go. You have a pattern, you can add a new layer and insert text or whatever content you want over it. So now what you may be wondering is, what if I don't want to apply the pattern to the entire background of my image? What if I just want to apply it to like a certain shape or something? So let, let me show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. So I'll just draw in a simple rectangle. My background's just a fill layer, a blue color. And I've created a new layer and just drawn in a rectangle there. So now all you have to do is double click here in the layers panel. If you can't see the layers panel, you're going to go to Window, Layers, and make sure that's checked off. So double click in the Layers panel on where you drew your shape or whatever you want to apply the pattern to. It could work for anything, really. You're going to double click on that, and you're going to check here where it says Pattern Overlay. And then we're going to go here, and we can change the pattern. So we have all those basic settings we saw before, but now we can apply it to certain shapes or whatever we want. So if I wanted to put on this pattern, the one I downloaded, and if you have this box checked here where it says preview, you can see a live preview of how it changes based on what you're doing in this layer style box. So I can change the scale and all that. I can change the opacity also. So if I turn it down to low, it's going to fade in the color that the rectangle originally was. So I can also change the blend mode, but that's not important right now. And I can, of course, drag the pattern around. And so, what does this link with layer checkbox do? Well, if I unchecked it, let's see what happens. I'll click OK. Now, let me move around the image. And the pattern does not move with it. Now, if I go back here, go back to pattern overlay, recheck link with layer, and click OK. Now, when I move it around, the pattern stays exactly the way you set it up in the layer styles dialog. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. 
and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials. I'll be sure to have some videos up on using your iPhone 4S when I get one soon. And I'll be sure to have more videos on Photoshop as well if you're interested in that. Leave any suggestions. If you need help, leave a comment and like this video if it helped you. So thanks very much and see you next time.